hello guys and welcome back to the channel so guys we're back with nande kano again a regular staple on this channel so in this video uh nande kano is going after some of the big names in nigeria guys i bring you this biafra nande kano mocks obasanjo danjuma go on for demanding restructuring from buhari so that's the headline that we're contending with in this video Bihafra Nandekanu Mark Sobasanjo Danjuma go on for demanding restructuring from uh, Buhari. So now let's now see what uh, the lead Igbo man has to say. Inandekanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, has mocked former head of state General Yakubu Gowon, former president Olusegun Obasanjo, and ex military commander. General Theophilus Danjuma over their separate calls for restructuring of the country. General Yakubu Gowon retired had at a public event organized by Igbo Leadership Development Foundation on Thursday admitted that the Igbo nation had been marginalized in Nigeria's polity. He said, I believe that a lot of injustice has been done to the Igbos and a constitutional debate on restructuring must address all imbalances and restore hope and confidence. Also, Obasanjo had condemned the current state of affairs in the country in a speech on Saturday at Frederick Fashion First. Uh, memorial lecture. The ex-military leader said, we estimated that federal government would suppress the Bihafran rebellion within three months. To make allowances for unforeseen, we allowed six months, but it took us 30 months, five times what we allowed for, and what is more, we nearly lost the war. And as a field commander at the end of the war, I can attest that we fought with all Nigerian tribes, including Igbos, against Bihafra. If after 10 years of fighting Boko Haram, the terrorist group is still waxing strong, let nobody out of self-delusion think that a war of self-determination by one or more geopolitical zones of Nigeria with the present disenchantment would be easily suppressed by the rest of what may remain of the country. Some will fight to the last drop of blood of their group rather than suffer the indignity of slavery, oppression, domination and atrocious injustice in the land of their birth and the only one that they can call their country. So these are the words of Gowon, by the way, quite potent, quite pungent words because there's very little that you can disagree with in this and this is another pushback yet again against this fulanization agenda of the Buhari regime which is now clear to everybody pretty much within the Nigerian space. He carries on. If Boko Haram can get outside support, any geopolitical zone opting for self-determination may equally get an external support. Nandekano, however, believes that these were men who rather took up arms against the Igbo than restructured the country in 1967. In 1967, Gowon, the North and Southwest rejected restructuring known then as Aburi, so that was where that conference was held with uh, Ojoko and Gowon, known as Aburi and banded together in a genocidal war against Biafrans that stood for restructuring, Kano wrote on Twitter. Today, Southwest, SW, uh, North Central, NC, plus Gowon, Danjuma, Obasanjo are begging. So that begging is in capital letters, so are begging for restructuring. Isn't Elohim wonderful? Hashtag Bihafra is the only option so of course Bihafra is the only option for Nandikano because he has nailed his uh, st uh his banner to the mast of that particular calling and he has paid too big a price and is too far down that road to have any other direction other than Bihafra so Bihafra is a Nandikano's calling but then of course the other callings the other resonance what is echoing also within the Nigerian space now is the drumbeats of restructuring because people are now seeing the way this country is configured the country of course being Nigeria people are now seeing the way that the Nigerian state is configured and it is not fit for purpose so they are estimating that there are 200 million Nigerians I 
personally do not believe that there are 200 million Nigerians because they are counting all of the tribesmen of uh, Malam Buhari from Niger Republic and Tad, etc., and adding them, adding, them, adding them all up to the Nigerian figure. But let's even go with that figure, which is in, uh, in common parlance that uh, Nigeria does have 200 million population. So if Nigeria has 200 billion population, uh, what is the number of policing that is meant to keep law and order in that country? The number of policemen to, to the last number is estimated to be approximately about 300,000. So you have 300,000 policemen policing a 200 million population so already you already know that there's nothing going on there so this is just empty head continua so everything is just wrong within that uh, uh space they have a lot of stuff on the exclusive uh, uh federal list that prevents all of the regions and a lot of the states are uh, from uh, developing and evolving at their own speed anything found on under the land belongs to the federal uh, exclusive list the waterways around nigeria belongs to the federal exclusive list so all of the things that are needed for development belongs to the federal exclusive list but then at the federal level of course all they do and almost exclu exclusively is to steal money so they appoint somebody as a minister they give him a budget and he just loots their budgets to buy houses in dubai and saudi arabia where the arabs can mock him as a, a silly african some primitive african so this is all they do because they have no sense of loyalty so if the regions were allowed to develop at their own space and you had like an Igbo minister a yoruba minister uh house of and minister administering uh, a space that is of their origin then the pressure is more for them to deliver because everybody knows their ancestral home everybody knows their door number their house number to knock on the door so there's that over there's that added pressure of responsibility to say that look you the son of uh labaja you have been asked to do this and you have not done it where is all this money they are driving you are driving fancy cars and driving buying private jets and the thing we told you to do is uh it's not being done so you can go and ask the son of Lagbaja why he did not do it because he's a yoruba man like you because he's an Igbo man like you because he's a, a house of Fulani man like you but if you have that overarching nigerian entity where you are telling some house man from borno to go and be fixing a papa uh port he doesn't care about a papa port a papa port has nothing to do with him he lives in abuja he can fly in and out of the country he's from borno so he has no business with the southern part of the country he doesn't even consider them to be part of him because his relatives are of course in the neighboring parts so the the structure in nigeria is completely skewed and this is really why all these lootings are going on and the only panacea to that of course is a restructuring everybody knows this but then of course it is only when they come out of power that they come to this realization because of Basajo had the chance to restructure nigeria he did not do it a uh, good luck jonathan he had the chance to restructure nigeria but he did not do it until the last minute of his uh, regime he was then putting together a committee to say i go and do committee and go and bring report and they did bring him an excellent report which if was implemented nigeria would be fast forwarded by today but of course when malam buhari came in he came in with a different mindset a jam jawid mindset and a fulanization agenda conversations in the comment section uh nandekano is mocking the generals uh, uh why shouldn't he come share thoughts about all this with me in the comment section but before you do that click on the red subscribe button so it's on screen bell button notifies you every time i drop a new video then come tell me if you are agreeing or not with uh, nandekano's reasoning in the comment section so i'll leave you here carry this conversation on with you in the comment section but here i say peace